Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Thank you for tuning in. My name is Fiso. <sighs> decisions, decisions, decisions. Like every single day we are making decisions. And one of the most common decisions that we're making are money decisions. Every single day. When you decide to buy one thing or, or, or the other, when you decide not to buy, it's still a decision that you're making. Okay, so you know, I've just been thinking, at the moment, the interest rates are low. I mean, in Australia, I'm sure it's a reflection of uh, everywhere in the world because we've got um, an economic factor that has affected uh, generally the whole world. So the interest rates are, are low at the moment. So mortgage interest rates, sorry to be specific, mortgage interest rates are low at the moment. So I guess the question is, for some people, maybe even me or other people is, since the interest rates are low, is this the time to buy a house is it the time to take a mortgage or is it the time just to focus on the mortgages that we have and pay them off okay so if, if you are wondering or if you are trying to decide what is the best thing for you um i've got a few points that i've just put across that i'm i'll share with you and hopefully they can make you make an informed decision financial decision So you know when the shops in the shops right when they put their stock on sale whether it's clothes or shoes for you girls there who love shoes when they put them on sale they are like um creating an incentive for you and i to shop for you and i to buy and i like to uh, apply the analogy of buying a dress or a shoe these are two completely different transactions right but i would like to just apply the analogy to a mortgage okay so when it comes to mortgages i'm thinking when the interest rates are low it means that mortgages are now cheaper so it is the concept of a sale you know to a certain extent it means that it's lower than it usually is so mortgages are now cheaper to service that's what it basically means so I'm talking about getting a mortgage uh, that is on variable interest rate so I'm not talking about a fixed mortgage a fixed mortgage is one that is fixed interest rate I'm talking about a variable one okay as it I think when I'm recording this video, I checked the interest rates and I saw an average of between 2.09% to 4%, which is really, really low at the moment. As the interest rates are low, I mean, like, again, thinking of a dress, when a dress is on sale, we end up buying, a shoe is on sale, we end up buying because it is on sale, right? So with the mortgages, if the interest rates are cheaper, right, what it means, the cost of financing the mortgage that interest rate is cheaper is it is it the right time to buy should we buy them should we should we take mortgages should we buy houses or should we you know like i said should we just uh focus on the ones that we have so i've got a few points that i'm gonna consider so i'm gonna look at two things taking a mortgage and paying off the mortgages that you have so at the moment i'm looking at taking it taking a mortgage what are the factors that we need to consider okay so in the short term right variable interest rate they vary they change okay so in the short term if you take a mortgage now you make savings interest rate savings as long as the interest rates are low you make savings like let's say you know like now i said 2.09 percent to 4 percent roughly so let's say we use 2.09 percent and then the interest rates go up to 3.09 percent by one percent so it means you'd have saved one percent okay so there is a saving in the short term how about in the long term so i always like to look at things you know look at one side and flip it short term flip it to the long term in the long term generally mortgages are like 25 to 30 years so that's a long term commitment you are committing yourself for a long term so in my opinion making a decision basing on the short term is not enough you need to look at the short term but you need to consider heavily the long term if it's over 25 to 30 years so like you might be in a position where you're like you know what 2.09 it's okay i can afford it now now so the decision the, i mean what you are saying is that you can afford it now but i think the thing to consider is can i afford it if the interest rates go up 
can I afford it if they go up to 4% and then you make a decision basing on that mortgages are not like buying a dress or buying a shoe that you buy today you pay and and you take your shoe home mortgages are long-term commitments that will keep on running for the next 25 to 30 years other thing I'll consider when it comes to taking a mortgage is did I have a plan to take a mortgage right I'm a planner so and I I don't know if other people i'm sure there are some people who are not into planning as much as i am but i would like to believe that when it comes to buying a house everybody plans because it's a it's a it's, you know it's a long-term commitment it costs a lot of money so i would like to believe that people plan okay so if i have planned to buy a house then i would think okay maybe it's the right time now i guess i get, I get into this if i had planned to buy a house it means that i would have been saving i would have been putting some money aside i'll have a lump sum like a deposit i'll have my deposit ready so it is the i mean i would say okay now i think i think i'll, I'll, I'll make use of this i'll make use of the opportunity and jump into the market and buy a house but this is what i'll do okay suppose i'm paying 2.09 percent and if i've got that extra money I would pay a little bit more on my mortgage right instead of paying just um instead, i mean i'll make use or i'll capitalize or take advantage of the low interest rates by paying more that way when interest rates are low it allows me to pay more into my mortgage so that by the time the interest rates go up i would have paid a substantial amount of the principal because the interest rates are low it allows me to pay more and my money will be going towards paying the principal which is the actual mortgage amount or if you like the actual debt that I've taken from the bank all right so option two paying off your existing mortgage okay so paying off your existing mortgage I, I feel I think if you've got a mortgage already and maybe you are thinking okay instead of taking another mortgage I want to pay off my existing one okay that's what I'm talking about because the interest rates are low it means that debt that would have uh, cost you more in the long run if you make if you take advantage of the low interest rates that debt will cost you less if you take advantage of the low interest rate you will pay that debt in less than 25 to 30 years okay so when the interest rates go down i would take that my, my the money that i have the extra money and try to push it as much and try to pay as much because it means every penny I mean like let's say the interest go down let's say i'm paying like 500 dollars on interest rates per month and i managed to pay a thousand five hundred per month it means the 500 dollars goes to interest and the 1000 goes to my debt or if i want if i've got more money i can increase it to like 2.5 and then the 500 will go to my interest and the 2000 will go to my uh, mortgage so that means i'm paying my mortgage the amount is going towards the debt like she, she, just look at when you're chipping off something you slicing like i mean like if it's like a loaf of bread you are removing that you are cutting each piece every time so you are paying off every time you are reducing your debt okay so that's what i would do but then if on the other hand your finances are tight you might just think okay i'll just pay the minimum amount and then take the other money you know so that i'm left with some money to cover my existing expenses okay so having said that it really depends on your for this part to paying off the existing mortgage whether you take a lump sum and, and and pay or pay pay a little bit more or whether you just stick to the minimum it really depends on your situation on your financial situation on your financial circumstances like i said if you've got more and you can afford putting a little putting a little bit more it means you're paying off your debt and you're gonna pay it faster and the good thing is gonna cost you less but if you are cash strapped you don't have money and then you can just pay the minimum but at least pay the interest and pay the principal at least that way you are still chipping on on your mortgage you're still paying off your mortgage bit by bit and then you are left with some cash flow to do all the other things that you want to do um, yeah i hope that was clear i hope that was informative and educative and then you can now make a decision as to whether you know do you wanna take another mortgage or do you wanna pay off your existing mortgage thank you so much for tuning in um hope this video was helpful like it share it 
and ask away any questions that you might have especially i know that the you know the notion of interest rates and all that it can be a little bit confusing for for a lot of people most people don't like numbers by the way uh, thank you for tuning in um if you are in australia and you need an accountant uh, feel free to contact us my links are down below you can email me then and you know send me a message and see if we can work together thank you for tuning in once again bye